Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is the one and only Johnny2k and I'm back with a brand new 2k21 video y'all. The game launched on Friday y'all. I got my hands on the game right now and I'm making my official 2k21 build for you guys. So without any further ado, we're gonna hop straight into this thing. So this is the build I have not made on my channel yet. So that's just for a disclaimer. But, as the current state of the game right now, with it being very hard to shoot, this build is going to be pretty goaded, I'm not going to lie. So we're not straight into it. Now the build, I mean the position I'm going to be making this build at is a point guard. Right hand does not matter. I'm going to go right handed, it really doesn't matter. And we're going to move on. Now the pie chart I'm going to be choosing is the pure yellow, guys. This is, as I said, previous videos this is the most balanced pie chart in the game especially for a guard so we're gonna hop straight into this with the pie chart now for the physical profile I feel like the first this first pie chart with the most speed would make the most sense but as you're gonna see as I see, talk about in a little bit you're gonna be going with the speed in the vertical pie chart now we're gonna hop straight into the attributes so the close shot we're gonna take down by one Max the driving layup and max the driving dunk. That's going to get you right at six finishing badges. Now for the shooting, we're going to max out these first three. And then put post fade up just to get 14 shooting badges. Now here's where it gets a little bit kind of funky. Or not like what you expect. We're putting the ball handle at an 88. Okay. We're putting our pass accuracy at an 87. And we're going to put our post moves up till we get 23 playmaking. Now for the defense, we're going to max these three out. Premier D, lateral quickness, and steal. Um, <clears throat> max our defensive rebound. I put up the rest on block. And then put the rest on interior defense. And that gets you right at 8 defensive badges. So, the badge count for this build is 6 finishing, 14 shooting, 23 playmaking, and 8 defense. Now the reason I made this build the way it is, is because I wanted sharp takeover with a pure yellow pie chart. I felt like this would be a very cheesy way of making this build, just because in the current state of the game, it's pretty difficult to shoot. So sharp takeover is definitely gonna help with this build. But as you guys may notice, my playmaking stats are very similar to a play shots playmaking stats. So you're probably thinking to yourself like why aren't I making a play shot build the green and yellow pie chart because I'm going to get way better shooting on that pie chart anyways. The main reason is you're going to get way better finishing. You have six finishing badges on most play shots you're only going to get one finishing badge. And for the physical profile you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to speed boost off rip. Like you're going to have a high speed and a high vertical like the vertical is definitely going to help with your driving dunk which is going to be way different than most play shots which are going to be choosing the most speed for their physical profile so i feel like this is a very well balanced overall build so we're going to keep moving on our body shape does not matter we're going to go with solid for now now for the height you can go 6-4 i would i probably would go 6-4 but the wingspan you just have to make it very you have to make it shorter than 6-5 which is the height I will be going with. So, you're still going to be able to get the pro job moves. You're still going to be able to momentum. Your driving dunk is going to be a 70, but it's going to go down, as you're going to see in a second. So, for the weight, the best thing to do here is just go minimum. You're going to get more speed and acceleration. Lose a little bit on interior, but who really cares? And for the wingspan, I'm going two below minimum. So you're gonna have a 77 three-pointer and an 83 mid-range, but that will be a 93 mid-range and an 87 three-pointer when you get sharp takeover. That is OD crazy, yo. You're gonna get a 69 driving dunk, so you're not gonna be able to get park dunks off rip, but if this is your first build, guys, it's not that big of a deal, because I feel like most of your first builds you're gonna max out eventually. So this build will get park dunks at some point. Now your perimeter defense goes down by one in most stats, but you're going to be able to play defense just fine. You got eight defensive badges. I think that should be more than enough. 
Now for the takeovers, honestly, I'm going with Sharp Takeover. I heard playmaking takeover is terrible this year. You cannot get ankle breakers whatsoever. So the other viable options I would choose is shot creating, but maybe slashing, but I between shot creating and sharp. But I wanna go sharp shooting takeover because that's just the cheesiest thing to do. And there you guys have it. You guys have a slashing playmaker with sharp takeover. Now I'm gonna hop straight into the badges real quick. I'm gonna get y'all out of here, all right? All right, y'all, so we are at the badge screen right now, as you can see. We're gonna hop straight into the finishing badges, start off. So off rip, we need contact finisher max. That is a must. Now for the rest of the three badges, I would either go silver, slithery, and maybe bronze consistent, or you can put on acrobat. Possibly giant slayer. I probably wanna put on giant slayer just cause you're 6'5", you're not that short. But I think for now, I'm gonna just rock this. So we're gonna keep moving on. Thank God, no quick draw. We get to get a couple more badges this year. Big W from 2K. But I just got max range extender. I'm probably gonna put on gold green, dead eye, hot zone hunter. And then for the rest of us, to the two badges, you might put on one put on catch. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with the rest of these two badges. Maybe volume, we're gonna have to see, maybe tireless. Because you do lose a lot, a lot of energy this year when dribbling. So, I think I'm going to just rock this for now. It doesn't really matter. We're going to change it whenever we want. So, 23 playmaking badges. This is just enough to be real effective. So, we're going to rock Hall of Fame quick first step. Hall of Fame handles. That's a big must this year. Or at least in this state of the game. Um, I'm not sure how Unpluckable works so far. But I'm going to just keep it on silver. Obviously, we need Bailout. Bailout is an extremely useful badge in this game. We don't know about Ankle Breaker just yet, so I'm gonna rock Hall of Fame Floor, Hall of Fame Dimer, and then probably Space Creator, just for now. And then, for the defense, we need Hall of, not Hall of Fame Flips, we need Gold Clamps. We need Gold Intimidator, and then bring me a Pick Dodger and a Chase Down Artist, so. This is a really good build guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm real excited to upgrade this build, get all the badges on it, dominate in the park, you know what I'm saying. I think this build is gonna be a demon as my first build, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, I'm gonna try to be grinding this build as quickly as I can and get some gameplay out, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace the hell out.